this right here is the foundation to your success. This right here is the foundation to everybody's success, no matter if you're aware of it, no matter if you're not aware of it, this right here, what I'm about to talk about right now is the foundation. Do you know what a foundation is? It's the thing that holds everything up. The foundation is the infrastructure that holds the rest together, just like being on a house. You build a foundation first and you build everything on top of that foundation and that's how it works. So that's why this is so important. That's why this is so very important for you to pay attention right now. So the foundation of success is what we're gonna talk about. Number one is to define, to define success for you. Not for me, not for your brother, not for your mom, your dad, your cousin, your teacher in high school, society, for you. You want to define what success looks like, what it feels like, what you'll be doing, who are you. Define that for you, number one. If you don't define success for yourself, you never know if you're going to be successful. And success is not measured in material wealth. Success is not measured in things, as people think. You know, the mother that has a house and is raising children because she wanted to be a mother is successful. The custodian that loves to be around kids and works at the school is successful if that's what they want to do. The entrepreneur that's making a lot of money and driving the Lamborghini on the mansion, if that's what he wants to do, that's successful. So number one, what do you want to do? What does success look like for you? And I think success is the intuitive knowing within yourself that you're exactly where you be, where you need to be at this given moment. So for me, success is moment by moment. And that's how you measure it in the moment only. You only can measure it how, with how you feel. Success is a feeling for me. Okay, Earl Nightingale talked about success being the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. You're progressing towards a goal that's bigger than you. You're trading your life for it. Okay, you're trading your life. People tend to work, if you're working a 40-hour week, 33% of your life. So you're trading your life for that goal. And you're progressing towards something. You have, you have a sense of purpose. Okay, that's what success is in that sense. And then number two is Define your purpose. I just talked about purpose. You want to define your own purpose. What do you love to do? What are you passionate about? What's your gift? That's your purpose. How can you inspire people? That's your purpose. What are your values? What are your morals? How can you live that out? That's your purpose. And then once you define your purpose, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Number three is you want to know the difference between achievement and fulfillment. There's a science to achievement. There's a science to earn money. It can be modeled. There's people that are doing that. You can find mentors. You can pay people. You can read books. Inside of books, do you know there's certain things that people put inside of books that they took 10, 20, 40, 60, their whole life to figure out? And you can just read that. You can read that in a week or in a day or in a month and apply that to your own business, apply that to your own life, to your own relationship. It's how powerful it is. So on the achievement side, that's easy. You can model that. But then also there's an art to fulfillment. Okay, so fulfillment, I think it's really spiritual as well. I think business is spiritual. Fulfillment is an art and you must practice it throughout the journey. So even though you have, that, maybe it's a financial goal, maybe it's the achievement that you really want to be, do, and have. You got to make sure that you're enjoying the process throughout that journey and you're fulfilled and you love what you're doing. You need to have a balance of the achievement with transformation and fulfillment together to live a really great life. Okay, so that's number three. Number four is to create a vision. Okay, create a vision before you create a goal. So how can you create a vision? Well, you define what success is. You understand what fulfillment is. You understand what achievement is. You understand it could be you can be mentored or you can be you can model people who have achieved, who have earned money, who have used certain strategies. Okay, you can do all that. You've defined your purpose. 
So now based on all the information you have now gathered, the next step is to then number four, create a vision. Okay, in each area, professionally in your career, where do you want to be? How much money are you going to be earning? Material things? What are you going to have? Where are you going to live? Are you going to have a family? Are you going to have a wife, a girlfriend, significant other? What are you going to be helping people with? How are you personally going to be? Are you going to be outgoing? Are you going to be introverted? Are you going to be speaking on stages? Are you going to be in Forbes? Are you just going to be someone that is working a nine to five because that's what you love to do and climbing up that ladder because you believe in that vision. What does that look like for you? What is that vision? Create it, use the repetition, a process to just live it out before the experience happens over and over again. And you'll know exactly where you're going. When you go through these first four steps, you're going from being a ship in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, just lost, going around with the waves hitting it and everything, to someone, a ship that now has a map. You go from being someone that's driving across the country like I did last year from Massachusetts to Arizona. Just say, Imagine you're just driving trying to find Arizona. You go from that to someone that has a breakdown, a step-by-step, which state you should go to, how long it's going to take, an estimate, and you adjust along that process. That's what your vision does. Okay, and then once you have your vision, step number five, you create goals out of that. Okay, you can create a, a goal is a bite out of your vision. You want to create a goal that excites you and scares you at the same time, and then you want to tag a deadline on that. Out of that goal, you must create objectives. Okay, there's certain objectives that come out of that goal. And the objectives... Say the goal is to earn a million dollars in your business. What are the things that you need to do on a daily basis? You can break it up into 90-day plans if you want, three months, to achieve that over the course of a year. And that's what you do. You go through that flow. And then the last step, step number six, is auto-suggestion. Napoleon Hill talks a lot about auto-suggestion. So things that you repeat to yourself through repetition, emotions, and feelings that changes and influences the part of your mind known as the subconscious mind. It's also known as your self-image. It's also known as a paradigm. And a paradigm is a set of beliefs or habits that's fixed in your subconscious mind that controls 95% of what you do, think, and experience on a daily basis. So most people, most people are going about their life in autopilot, not aware of these habits, these beliefs, these thoughts that they have. So through this process, I just described to you defining success, defining your purpose, understanding the difference between achievement and fulfillment and how to have both because it's possible. A lot of people don't. Majority do not have both, by the way. There's a lot of people that have money and are miserable. And there's a lot of people that have no money and are miserable. I don't think it makes a difference. I think you can study these things and you can make sure that doesn't happen to you. And then after that, you want to create a vision. You want to create a goal out of that vision. And then you want to use auto-suggestion. The repetition, emotions, and feelings. That can be vision boards. It can be writing out, I am so happy and grateful now that I have achieved my goal by this deadline. Um, It can be affirmations. It can be anything like that, writing out your goal on a daily basis so that you start to to impress that upon your subconscious mind, that 95%. And your subconscious is linked up to God. It's linked up to the universe. And it's linked up to exactly what you want. So you got to ask you got to write it down, and then it will appear with massive inspired action through these, these six steps that I just mentioned. So this is really the foundation of success. This is all before all of the business strategies, everything else around mindsets. This is it. This is something that you want to do on a daily basis. And if you do this consistently on a daily basis and you apply this, your whole life, your whole business, your relationships – your health, you can apply this to anything, it will all change. So again, this is the foundation of success. So drop a comment in here, which one of these six six steps that you're focusing on, have you defined success? Have you defined your purpose? Have you defined what the difference between achievement and fulfillment is? Have you created a vision? Have you created a goal? And do you use auto-suggestion on a daily basis? 
And the last one is, you know, have fun in the process. You know, I can come on here and act all serious and stuff. But the process to enjoy it, to have fulfillment, is to is to have fun. Is what I'm saying. Have fun, and you're gonna win the game of life. You're gonna win the game of business. You're gonna win each aspect of your life. It may just take a little bit of time, but this does work. So again, drop a comment, like this video, let me know what you thought about this, and I will see you next time.